The battle of the bugs is about to begin. Funny enough, I just, you know, ripped the bug off myself. It drank my blood. I got it back. But we are going to do a little bit of no. uh, bee troopers versus crawlers. No. I just had the worst imagery. Okay, well, don't explain it then. Uh, ooh, I want to go first with this deck, don't I? Probably, yeah. Now, I don't think this is a fair um, Battle of the Bugs, since you've played Beat Troopers like five times in the past two weeks, and I've played these once in the past two years, but I don't see what could go wrong. Honestly, a lot of people have been arguing in, in a lot of like chats about what is the actual strongest bug deck? Mm -hmm. The X crawl the crawlers or the Beat Troopers? Fair enough. We no one's see. even no one's even bringing up insectors. <laughs> oh no, they shouldn't be brought up. Absolutely not. Let's see. So if that happens. I can ah, graveyard effects. Um, well, actually, mm, hmm, that's a little hard to work with right here. Um, but this will do the same thing, and potentially have added benefit. So nothing too snappy right here. But there might be some additional benefits later on down the line. I end my turn. All right. Let me see. Well, I finally drew that build well. You, I. Funny enough. Oh I'm, yeah, yeah. We didn't see that last time. I haven't been drawing it because I have no. There's no field searching in this deck, so. Mm -hmm. Because uh, unfortunately, they kind of like have to try to make ways of making sure field searching is not a common thing in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, sure. You terraforming. Mm-hmm. Well, one of them. You're lucky on this one, Zylo. I didn't draw any of the proper stuff, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, nice. Now, do I do it? I target and destroy a spell or trap card on the field. I'm gonna hit that. <laughs> I can't do it, I don't have the heart. <laughs> well, the one nope. time I get the field spell! <laughs> not today, Mario, not today. You, you, you have been trying to be nicer to me recently. What's wrong with you? What's winning, wrong with you? I'm winning too much. What can I say? Uh, let's <laughs> see. So that has that effect given. Oh, man. I just don't have anything to really set myself up is the problem. I set a card and I end my turn. The synergy of the deck. I don't even think it's me right now. It's just not coming together. So uh, I end my turn. I didn't even ask, do you even have, like, an old X-Crawler deck, maybe? Maybe. I mean, it's definitely got some, uh, stuff that's not around anymore in it, but... This one, I kind of like the concept of. It has Shadals mixed into it, and then it has uh, a little bit of sub terror because flip effects. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I briefly looked at it, and it looked like a concept that could potentially work. Ooh, Parasite Paranoid on yourself. Okay. Yeah. Works. that goes he gets to bring out his buddy not bad not bad thing lancer allows me to get another card fly sting comes back maybe it'll get to be used this time unless i like set another axon or something Pfft. that'd be crazy <laughs> crazy oh yeah Oh boy. Ah, Cicada King. Which might be really good against your particular I think trigger. it would be, yes. United We Stand? Uh, sure, why not? If you need the power. Works for a swarm deck. Mm hmm. Yep, you indeed will destroy the Ranvier. Go! Piercing damage. Activate that. Get to get my Axon back. Very nice. I wish it did piercing. <laughs> Alrighty, what will I draw this time? Oh, double those. Or is it triple? I don't even know anymore. Uh, let's <laughs> you never see. know. Spell card. Let's see. Excavate the top five cards of your deck. And if you get a sure, why not? Finally, something that can facilitate some further plays. There's definitely crawler monsters coming through here. 
Uh, a lot of them are. Okay, now what do I get to do? Add one to your hand, shuffle the rest. Otherwise, you know, shuffle them all. Da, 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 da. For the rest of the turn, you cannot do a anything from the extra deck except Link Monsters. That's fine. That's kind of what they like to do. And let's see. The Receptor adds a Crawler Monster from deck to hand. Lots not working. And this... Don't know how to summon it, I'm gonna be honest. That survivor, which is literally what I just used. So how about we do Receptor, just so we can look at some of our options. Uh, there might have been a play here. Let me look at what's even in this deck. Okay, so I need to get a Shadow Monster to use Shadow Fusion, otherwise it's going to be completely unviable. And yeah, I think the smartest play for me right here, I mean, you got just way too much, honestly. Yeah, I think it's kind of already over for me, but you know, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, because I can't add any of that to my hand. Hmm. Alright. At least, you know, just setting monsters does hold you off, but it's all it does. But now I can add something directly to my hand. <laughs> Fun! It's a graveyard effect, so still works. All right, do 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 do. Uh, that might be good. What is no, the graveyard effect do? It just adds. Oh wait, no, it's even better. Um, let's see. When it leaves the field because of an opponent, you can special summon two crawler monsters with different names. Neat. Okay, we're in business then. Um, let's try to go for this, and let's try to go for this. Sure. And confirm. Lovely. We might be able to play! That being said, you won't fall for that again. Nope. At least I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for your sake. Alright, so... Alright, let's try to play. Special summon one crawler from graveyard. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Lyle, flip up. So we can bring one back from the graveyard, go into our Link monster. Uh, in the graveyard. Ooh. Get that guy out there. Sure, why not? Then we'll flip up this guy. And let's force a nice little activation. Let's see. Yeah, let's try to target and destroy your Sting Lancer. Uh, Alright. Gonna be honest, I thought a Cicada King was gonna ne negate, but. Wasn't giving me the option too funny enough. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see, now we have that, but we would like to go into one of these. Here's a problem with this deck it's not just, uh, I feel like it actually takes some thought because I'm looking at it and there's four um, Link 2 options that I can go into. So I guess I just gotta look at this. Crawler monsters can't be destroyed by battle, and can make two up to two attacks in the battle phase. I guess that's kinda good, but that's not really what I'm looking for right now. Subterra Behemoth. Gain stack equal to the combined layer of subterra monsters, which is gonna be zero. Um, special summon, let's see. Oh, during my main phase I can flip a monster. That sounds pretty good. What's this guy? Does this guy have a nice little flip effect? Let's see. Well he does have attack damage, which is kinda nice. Hmm. I don't feel like that's the right answer either. Now, this is the one I remember a little bit. If this is destroyed by a battle, you can target two crawler monsters and special summon them. Yeah, let's just go for that. That sounds like a reasonable thing. If it's destroyed, we get stuff out of it. Um, we can go in addition, and I guess, should I save that? Probably not. Let's use it while we can, because it's the only time all duel we have been able to do something cool. And we will go for the summon of... It's going to be face up, right? Yeah. So let's just put this out, I think. Okay. This might be in trouble now. Put that on the field. And activate... Ooh, what does he do when he summons? Like, I, like, I'm not getting much response opportunities right now. Okay, mm -hmm. I think now it's letting me... Okay, now it finally let me... Thank goodness. Mind meld. 
Um, uh, I think your activated effect becomes return the monster to the hand. <laughs> so, eh, it's not... I don't know. Could be worse, right? Yeah, it could be worse. Let's see. What shall I get now? Um, ooh, let's get the uh, field card. That can't be a wrong answer. And put it out there. Lovely. Juicing that guy up a little. Not strong enough to beat that guy. But hey, things ain't the worst. Um, I will set an additional card. Uh, I'll leave that zone free because it can be left free. And I suppose uh, we'll just go to battle. Rip up that token. Call it a day. Alrighty. Uh, when you destroy a token, I get to summon out another token. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. I already played that card. All right, great. Let's see. We can do some fun stuff here. I'll just I'll just let this ride though, because I know you have things. All right, I can special summon a card from the graveyard. Hmm, it's pretty good. What's my graveyard effect that's coming into play? Let's see. Um, graveyard to the zone. Well, it's, if this card's in your graveyard, target a link monster on the field. Special summon a crawler from the hand deck or graveyard to the zone of points to. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll do that. Gets another monster out here. Is it the right timing for it? Pfft, I don't know. But, and face up attack. Or face, yeah, so this just gives me more things. So you're not the only one who's swarming here. You know, we got a nice slow swarm going. Mm-hmm. Let's see, so he's going for his thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yep. That's fine. This allows me to get another bee trooper out. Scout buggy. Nice. Then. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do it in the long run here. Yeah. Then, I normal summon. Oh, should I? Yeah, I'll normal summon my uh, resonance insect. Alright. Then. Let's see. Yeah. Then I use two of them to create insect pika vanilla, and then uh, using the effect of resonant insect in the graveyard and Ooh. activating the effect of the insector by discarding a card. I can equip one card on the field with a card. Choose my um, uh, trooper scout buggy. All right, we might be able to do some about this. Let's try. It. I'm gonna world legacy pawns. Target a face down monster of mine and flip it up. Alright, I'm gonna equip the Goki pole while I can. And add another card oh, to the hand. Oh, I needed to have that up, so I had the option to. Okay, darn. <laughs> Alright. Activate a card effect. No. So I should have had that flipped up beforehand. Okay. You know, things have already been activated. I can do this. Then I activate this card effect, which allows me to send three cards back. Yep. That will allow me to draw a new card. I keep drawing the same card. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know how I kept saying? You know how we said, oh, I haven't seen this card in a while? Yeah. I keep drawing the field spell now. <laughs> I'm glad I haven't targeted and destroyed it then. Yeah, no. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No! That's fair. <laughs> That's the guy I really wanted to use, but he would have been kaijued away right after anyway. Yeah. Alrighty. Now, one of the reasons why I needed to equip is not to link him off, but to Cocoon of Ultra Evolution once more. <sighs> Darn it. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. Sending it away. I can get a... I can special summon another insect from the deck. Mm-hmm. This time, I think I'm gonna go with a card that I have not summoned once since since your since bring since using this deck. All right. Metamorphosized insect queen using Goki Kapol's effect as well. Sure. This allows me to add a random card, uh, insect card to my hand. Yep, yep, yep. Then also using Cocoon of Ultra Evolution to return Goki Pole back into the deck to draw an extra card. Jeez, he's drawn. The field has definitely switched into your favor. 
Mm-hmm. Now let me see. What does she do again? Metamorphosized queen. Another insect monster is on the field. Your opponent cannot target insect monsters you control with card effects. And it cannot be destroyed by our opponent's card effects. Nice. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacked, you can tribute one monster. This card can attack your opponent's monster again in a row. Yep, it's gonna be hard to beat. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is what it is. I think she's supposed to be to paired up with uh, with the big old boss monster of the B Troopers as well. Hmm. I can actually see this being like a uh, the B Troopers are her knights and all that, like her army, basically. Certainly possible. Bees led by their queen. Mhm. Mm and she does look like to be a weird bee hybrid too, based on the wings. Gonna take more damage if I do this, but let's do this. Change a uh, face up monster or change face down monster's position. And let's go for Glyle. Um, where do we go for that? Because I'd like to keep Glyle. Eh, whatever. We'll do that. What does we'll he do? him face up. He just summons another monster from the graveyard. Yeah, well, guess I'll just do that. Yep. I believe that'll work just fine. <laughs> let's change a better position on a monster. And let's choose my face down, right? <laughs> Fair. Thank goodness I'm beating Pico. But if you want to burn your Pico, yeah, there you go. What can I do from graveyard? Ooh, what do you do? Let's see. Yeah, sure. Let's line up. Get you. The swarm is certainly in my favor here. We got another Glyle. These decks certainly are fighting each other pretty well, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, remember what I did about this deck? I felt like it wouldn't be a sweep by your, you by any means. Mm hmm. Just because I think it's uh, the way it plays can kind of work out. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, when your flip monsters destroyed by. Oh, yeah, this card is insanely OP. I forgot. Yeah, flip monsters destroyed by battle by an opponent's monster. You send that monster to the graveyard. It doesn't destroy, so it's not protected. Darn. Send. Ooh. Yeah, this was a. Uh, or something similar to this was used quite the, a the lot. Field, the, the field spell was broken. Once. You can't attack into it. They can attack into you. <laughs> Alright, what are we going for here? There's plenty of options now. We're going to do Axon, and we're going to activate. I'm going to give you the choice. I'm gonna... No, I'm not going to give you the choice. I'm just going to get rid of this. And you can activate it if you'd like to, but... No, we're not. Either way, it's gone. Same effect. Then I would like to uh, flip up Glyle. Do I go Glyle first? Yes, I go Glyle first. Boom. That brings me back someone from the graveyard. Nice juicy face down. Um, oh, we could do Qualiarch as well. But I don't think there's any major benefit to that. Uh, that sends more to Graveyard. This adds from deck to hand. We'll do the deck to hand option. Big old toolbox of flip monsters here. Things are going decently well for me. Now, that's still not the right answer. Let's see. Crawler monster this card points to cannot be destroyed by battle. That's rather nice. Any battle damage you inflict. Okay, so now's the time where we go for this guy because he's the offensive option. I'm just going to get Kumongus off the field. You can have him. It's fine. He's done his job. And uh, get Axon moving here. There we go. Lovely. Then, what can I do next? Um, let's see. We can use this and special summon a insect monster from my hand in face up or face down defense position. Great. One flip monster destroyed. Yeah. So I guess it's just a free summon. Can't say no to that, can I? Put that, uh, that guy doesn't have arrows, so there's no real benefit of that. Oh, okay, so he has to be used secondarily, because it's monsters he points to can't be destroyed by battle. <laughs> well, so he's actually kind of a dead card right now. Oh, well. Um, we're going to keep that guy on the field, because in conjunction with pawns, it's phenomenal. And I suppose... I'd like to be able to beat you, but I didn't do the right move to be able to beat you. Let's see. Yeah, because that gains that, but that don't do nothing. If I recovered the Nuragos, it would be good as well. 
Huh. I th don't want to do that either. But I guess there's no harm in just kind of switching off stuff and rectifying my mistakes. So let's uh, flip Receptor up. Yeah, because we can put him in that anyway. Activate him. Uh, get another thing back from the deck. I know there's a target and destroy guy in here. Is it Ram VI? Let's see. No, oh, that just adds stuff back to hand, which also is kind of great, which I kind of want to do. Is Dendrite the uh, target and destroy? No. Is there a target and destroy? Doesn't seem like it. I don't see it. So we're just going to add a... Uh, we're going to add him because he's definitely good in this uh, current position in the duel. We will set him. And then... Um, that's fun. There's not even like a uh, Link 4 card in this deck. It's just the other things. Oh, it's because the way they can swarm and with their field spell, they're pretty deadly. Yeah, it's just none of them really have attack of their own. So it's interesting. Uh, but let's try just to uh, switch this guy out with this, and I suppose we'll send Glyo since it can't switch it so, back. One thing I need to do with this insect deck against yours is just don't play defensive. Go. go all out attack to get rid of you quickly. Yeah, because defense versus defense games are hard, and it really comes to whoever has better recovery power and, in this case, better reactions. Mm -hmm. um, and then, that and yeah. that and getting rid of one weakness I do know I have. I need to get I need to get a uh, get rid of your spells with some destruction. Yeah, that can always be a strength. Let's see. I'm surprised this has not come into play more. Oh yeah, of course the token comes out. I have not stopped that from happening, but you know I think I made the right decisions for at least a certain degree. Um, one thing I'm currently disappointed in is the introduction of Shadal into this deck. I have not seen a single Shadal card apart from Shadal Fusion, and uh, it it exists in here, so I'm interested. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I guess if your opponent um. Controls a monster that was special. Yeah, but huh. I guess we'll find out. So I think Deus Ex Crawler kind of solidifies a victory here. But we'll see. Who knows? He could have another Kaiju. Nah, I only run the one, sadly yeah. enough. But I always do have to be formation to activate. That's true. Now let's see. This just does monsters, I believe, right? Yep. Yeah, I do remember that if I can get rid of your spells and traps, maybe just sliding in a Harpy's Feather Duster is not a bad idea. I don't think any deck suffers from a slide in Harpy's Feather Duster unless you have an abundant amount of spell destruction already. Like Dark Magicians. I don't have a Harpy's Feather Duster in that. I don't need one. Can... I'm focused on the consistency of the deck, and they can already do spell and, um, you know, target destruction. And banish as well. Yep. Then I also activate Scale Bomber. All right, let's see if we can do this now. Probably should have done it a second ago, but let's change a face down monster's position. Get this guy face up, please. Here we go. Lovely to see ya, buddy. Hmm, so you stopped that, huh? I believe so. Activated effects are stopped. Now let's see, get... specifically, when it's flipped up, while it's in the monster zone, negate all monster effects on the field. Alright. So I think Resonance and Insect will work. Any of your graveyard effects are going to work. Mm-hmm. So that's all pretty yeah. solid. Sting Lancer comes out. Send banishing away my... Uh... I will banish your Link Monster off. Ah, good choice. I was just talking about how it would be a good idea to uh, bring that. Mm -hmm. oh, send it back. Okay, that's fine. Actually, Neuragos is the one I wanted to resummon anyway, so that's fine. Get to keep the one I wanted to play with. Yeah, so I have anti-targeting right now, so none of your flip cards are going to work, but I still have to deal with the situation of, oh, I don't know. The second I attack your monster, you immediately send it to the graveyard. Yeah, that field card is going to be a problem. Let's see. Destroyed by battle, so you're going to need to do a little bit of uh, effect destruction yourself. Mm-hmm. 
because you definitely have the power over me in this matchup. Wait. But this cancels that. I can destroy that. That's not a flip yep, monster. Correct. Which I am quite upset by. But alas, you uh, you do have the offense on me. So all is fair. And I can keep returning this one, so. Okay. Um, yep. We'll just do it then. Yep. All right. That was a great choice attacking the one that's already flipped up. Not engaging in another flip from me. Let's see. I gotta beat the Atlas with a low power deck. That's tough. Do that. Activate Renaissance Insect. I was banished. Alright. This allows me to send another card to the graveyard. Let's send a Goki Pole. Fantastic. Goki Pole activates. Let me to get another Resonance Insect at hand. How do I deal with this situation? Oh, look, another Shadal Fusion that already felt dead. Alright, I have an idea. Let's see. When your flip monster is destroyed by battle with an opponent's monster, send that to the graveyard. I think I could suicide mission this and be okay. That being said, it's going to hurt. Um, so I'd like to think of some other options. Do I see any other options? No, every card in my hand is currently unplayable. So let's start with a little flip action. We're going to flip up Spine. Ooh, Spine's the one that's target a monster on the field and destroy it. Maybe I shouldn't flip up Spine. <laughs> Yeah, and that's just target monster. Um, and you just can't be targeted, right? Uh, can't be... Your opponent can't target with card effects and can't be destroyed by card effects. Okay, so double jeopardy on him. We're going to flip this up, get some more options into my hand. And we would like to add... Glyle's always been huge. And definitely not the spine right now. Um, another flying sting on the field, that's rather annoying. But let's... We don't definitely don't need a Dendrite right now. Or do we? Hmm. No, not necessarily. Why is that not going to work? Maybe the deck's just poorly built. I don't know. Let's get a Receptor. That sounds fine by me. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty. At least I know you can't target my card with anything. Yep. Should all fusion special summon use a monster from hand or field? If your opponent controls a special summon monster from the extra deck, you can use monsters from the deck. Yeah, I think the deck's just not built properly. Darn. Okay. Well, let's there, see. You did say there was Shadal cards in there, though. Shadal fusion. And the fusion cards, I didn't see any of the material. Hmm. Let's see. I didn't build this deck by the way, guys. Surprise, surprise. I didn't either. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, we just can't do that. So, I would not like to activate an additional effect. I would love to put Glyle on the field, and I'd love to flip Glyle up. Sounds like a great plan to me. That being said, how do I... How do I deal with all this? Um, I'm pretty sure these ones have the effect when it's destroyed by an opponent's card effect, so... That's not going to be sweet. Let's, uh... Hmm. Huh. Yeah, let's just go like here. Let's see. Nah, I guess the right play is to um, keep that moving. Oh, uh, gosh. Because I know... That's not bad. I guess that's going to do the trade anyway. So yeah, we're going to try the uh, trade option. We're going to change a face-up position monster down and return to the deck. Ooh, how about, let's see, we have a Glyle and a Spine in play. So let's send the Spine back to the deck. We'll flip you face down. And then we'll see how this works. I'm going to stop you right there with this. You already know the effect. It's yep. already an insect, but now you can't attack my insect monsters. Very nice. Great counter to my uh, unorthodox play. 
will however set another card and in my turn and despite me not getting an offensive edge at any point just yet um i have a field that you know takes time to take down and a lot of recovery mm-hmm Let me see. All right, but that giant bee trooper is definitely the power in these waters. But mm -hmm. I guess given enough time, you know, as long as you don't get my life points too low, I can threaten trades back to back. Yeah, which is why I need to just be on top of my on myself. This is like an interesting like insect war right now, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Should have done something about that, but oh well. Now, let's see. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm just afraid because I know you can, like, boost your attack by 2,000. Yeah, I'm one tick beacon. be enough to end me, but still. Once it gets to that rage th range, though. Mm hmm. Then I gotta get scared because I'm looking at my 5,000 life points right now. So when there's a 5,000 attack monster against my 1,000, we get a little nervous. Especially yeah. when I'm considering, uh,. Head on trades where I lose life points. Those options <laughs> yeah. aren't exactly available when I only have a thousand life points left. I think there's one clear thing I could do. Alright. Just keep messing with you with power. Sure. So let's see. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm definitely struggling to break your B Trooper, but. You're struggling to break my sheer numbers. Armor horn, okay. Resonance insect once Ooh. more. Oh, darn. Okay, that'd be sick if it wasn't a mirror match. Can't summon monster special summon except insect monsters. Mm-hmm. Do this. Banish another one of my insects. Go away, resonance insect, to activate your effect. And go away that card all righty yep 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 all is good and fine no neurologos for me then what's activating oh, gosh, for armor what, horn what's his activated effect you can immediately uh, summon another insect monster gosh go keep hole one. Next. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is a smart option. All right. So. Do this, this, and this one. That is the worst thing I could have just seen. <laughs> oh, boy. You don't say. It's one of the reasons why I chose it. Yeah, uh, I was like, in the back of my head, I thought you might do that play. Just because, like, I literally spelled it out that if I have to beat one, then I can't beat the other. Um, so maybe I did make a right play here? I don't know. It's hard to say, because I, I could have stopped your activated effects again, and you wouldn't have gotten that far. But then again, who's to say? You wouldn't have just done it next turn anyway. Was it by a monster effect you could have negated it by? Um... Let's see. Yes, actually. But it's not activated monster effect, so I don't know. It would have been still been negated by Bee Trooper Flying Sting. Okay. Because I saw my own protection as well. Yeah, I thought... Hmm. No, I don't think Flying Sting would stop it. Because hmm. you can only I activate guess... that when I activate an effect. Hmm. I guess we'll find out later. Yeah, we very well might. Down. Sure, he comes back, Gabe. Yep. Not just bad, so not I could bad. A, just so I could activate this. Wait, what's his second effect again? Who's second effect? Oh, uh, giant B trooper Atlas. Oh yeah. Special um, summon one B trooper monster from your deck. Mm -hmm. I already activated both their effects. The only yeah. one left would be the butterfly bomber, but that's not gonna work. That's not gonna be good. So I'll just do this to gain attack by sending that away. Alrighty. 
Moving to the next phase. I am going to uh, flip this man down. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I could flip it up and stop effects, but I'd really like to not get destroyed if he's summoning up a lot of power onto the field. So we're going to go with that option. And you can go back down, sir. There we go. All right. That I guess I'll end the turn then. Okay. Flying Sting again from the graveyard. Getting rid of another card. Man, I wish I had an Axon right now to get rid of that Flying Sting. Or, or that Flying Sting. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's the see. The good thing we... about it too is that they don't banish themselves after using it once. Yeah. So I can so... keep using them. Mm-hmm. So what's the play here? Um, we're gonna need to let's get the axon. So it's receptor. That'll add axon to my hand, or something else if anything pops up. Oh, okay. Sure. Let's. Uh... Hmm. Oh, I guess yeah, that's that. Oh, does he not do that? Let's see. This face up monster leaves the field because of opponent's card effect. Oh, it has to be two. So I, yeah, okay. So since I don't have enough room, it didn't work. Okay, that's cool. Um, well, that was intended as a bait anyway, but it, man, I should have baited in a different order. Oh yeah, you lost <laughs> that attack, so I still can't get at you. Duh. Nope, it's temporary. Yep. Very nice. Um, it is literally, it is literally like I am walking on you with two with two fortress monsters, the giant insects, and you're yeah. just trying to swarm to stop me. Big time. All right, let's add him to my hand and him to my hand. This still gets me the Axon. Lovely. Um, is doing the Axon right now the right play? Pfft, I don't know. Uh, this gets me another card out for free. And, hmm. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Send one flip monster, specimen monster. Yeah, 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 that's cool. I get it. Hmm. That's just adding more. I don't know how to beat you. Yeah, I just gotta see. Maybe I'll just activate everyone and uh, just go for it right now, because otherwise it's gonna take forever. So, let's. I can't flip him up because of his stupid effect. So, let's flip up Glyle. Activate him. He gets to summon another crawler. Um, do we go for Quali Arc? I guess it really doesn't matter, man. Yeah, sure. Um, but I can't put him in there, so we just gotta put him there. He gets up to 26 because he's kind of cool, but cool enough? Pff, not really. Then we have to get ourselves. Um, all right, let's see. Send one flip monster from deck to graveyard. Special summon one monster. Yeah, I guess it's one monster. Sure, let's go for that this time. We'll do that by using you and... Oh, I wanted to use Quali Arc. Oh, well, I don't need to. So we'll do that. There he comes. Activate a Carter effect. Not yet. Um, then, I believe... We can do that. Send a card from deck to the graveyard. All kinds of options. Um, we're going to send you, because I don't want to draw you. And then we can special summon... Huh, now here's the question. Do I go for one of these? Because that, no, that targets is my problem. And this only boosts my crawler monsters. I have uh, two world armors in my hand, but I don't think they're the right option with this deck composition. So, um, I already used that. I don't, I don't even remember what I already used. I know I didn't use Axon, so I guess we'll put that down. Q. Um, but I kind of need to flip that up now, so I guess I will. Axon, come on up. And then activate his effect. We'll just get that out of the way. Adding to my hand, um, I guess from Graveyard. Doesn't particularly matter. We're just gonna grab... <sighs> we'll get Lyle again. <laughs> this duel is so cyclical. Mm-hmm. Alright, and then we are gonna... Then we're going to try to go for it. We're going to try to go for Nuragos. So he comes out on field. And flip this guy up. Oh, he's still not boosted high enough. Let's see. Crawler monsters is card points that can't be destroyed. Gain stuff. You know what? That's actually kind of sick. I think we're fine. Um, so do that. Activate a card or effect. 
Oh, this is finally letting itself be played. Cool. Maybe because you didn't have enough space before? No, I've had space all duel, but it's fine. When a monster flips, I'm a specialist in my hand. And add a world legacy card to my hand. Lovely. Now. Oh, cards. because you flip. Yeah, flip summon. Because you've been you've been flips you've been just flipping them, not flip summoning using world legacy pawns. Yeah, I guess you might be right. Man, flip flip summon rules are weird. Alright, but that's fine. Um, we can flip that up. I might just have to sacrifice someone. It's cool. Yeah, it's, it's as if hardly any cards actually use flip some flip effects. <laughs> yeah. And do we want another card? I don't know. We're running a little short on time, so let's just grab that guy again. Set it onto the field. Lovely. And then we're going to summon this up, even though I think it's going to make me... Oh, I don't have to activate it. Um, so we're not going to. Great. That's cool. Now what we can do is probably just add another card. Nothing wrong with doing that. And go for... Do I summon another different monster? Let's see, should all concert uh, Oh, I see. I see there's a thing that's meant to be done here. Um, but first, I better actually deal with the threat here. So, I think this will work. Attack. Oh, well, we don't, we're not gonna know for sure until it's done. So this will be fun. And now let's wreck my own life points to get rid of the other one. Great. And now we're gonna main phase two. Darn it. <laughs> um, let's see. Send that monsters to the graveyard. Hmm. Didn't send them to the graveyard? Oh, hold on. I messed myself up. I have to be destroyed for it to work, not just get in battle. Lovely. Ooh. Okay. So I definitely um, could have had him there, but messed up. All right. Well, let's continue our desperate plays. The Shadal Construct is the Shadal monster that's meant to be used. Um, right here. And this, uh, during your main phase, you can fusion summon the Shadal Fusion monster using cards from hand or field as fusion material. Let's find out. Do that and summon Shekinaga is the most likely of situations. Sure. We'll use that um, by using, I suppose, you and uh, you. Sure. All right. What can I do from the graveyard? And that can send. Let's see. Send one should all monster from hand or face and field to the graveyard. Special on this card. Sure. So that looks to be the reason why this is a thing. And then I can use the other Shadal Fusion to bring out Apcolone by using you and... Uh, unfortunately, I gotta use you. Oh, well. I'm just clicking stuff now. All right. And its effect... Um, target one monster on the field and negate stuff. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Um, that lets me add that back to hand. We might as well use it just to see it. Okay, um, at least it lets me target that, at the very least. So, not everything's going uh, so well here. I am not figuring out a way to take you down. Um, we will set you. And unfortunately, we are in for a world of hurt coming up this next turn. I would like to end my turn, because I can't Link Summon anything else to get these monsters off the field. Clock, I, I ended. You don't have to keep... Oh, darn it. No. It's still going. It's still going. Oh, oh. <laughs> so you permanently negated my field spell, right? Um, is it permanent? Probably. Because it's still giving me the X. Yeah, I mean, just do it. We know what you're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, let me, let me take out this dusty old one to place this new one. There we mm -hmm. go. Activate it. So I can get another bee trooper. <laughs> Lovely. Scout buggy goes off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and since I you know, was doing those desperate moves just for sake that the duel wouldn't be stalled out forever, I no longer have my negating all of your effects card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. Hmm. Yeah, so I think my misstep was just using Naragos in that sense entirely. If I had just used two monsters, let them die, and not protected them, then you would have lost your atlases. Imagine I had still had my United We Stand in the deck, too. 
I mean, yeah, <laughs> obviously. I'm already afraid of the power, so it doesn't change much. All right, um, okay, hold on. I really gotta stop that, don't I? <laughs> Mind meld! I choose one of your cards to tribute, okay. Yep. Send it right back to my hand, so. It's a weaker monster off the field, at least. Alrighty. Alright. I think odds are I live this turn with three. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, no, it's not gonna change anything. But I think I'm gonna live this turn with 300 life points if it's gonna play it how I think it is. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Then. And obviously, if I don't have life points, I can't trade off with you. This is a very long duel, by the way. It is. We're not doing. We're, we're, it's a 46 minute one duel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because both the decks are swarming against each other and neither can get over the other. Like, neither are, show are doing any show-stopping moves right now. You thought you got yourself an, uh, an easy win once you got to a certain point, but I've been holding you back. <laughs> when did I think I was having an easy win? The uh, Legacy in the Shadow. I mean, I, I didn't think so. You can just choose not to attack it, which you have been doing. It mm -hmm. helped me once. <laughs> True. And if yeah. I could get rid of that spell too, as well. Yeah. Then I well, I would have searched another one several times throughout this duel. Mm -hmm. But let me see. I think I'm going to bring out. Mm-hmm. What do we got? Sure. <laughs> Destroy a monster in the field? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Darn it. I was not hoping you did that. <laughs> Could be in some trouble here. Okay. Yep. Oh, no. I have two of the same face down monster on the field. Okay. No, I just mean I only get one of their effects off. Oh. It's okay. First off, I'll get the easy 800 damage. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't use any of their effects to get more power. Well, I couldn't. Once you negated one, I couldn't activate it again. Okay. So that goes, we special summon you, and we special summon... Um, let's see. A spine, yep. There we go. Confirmed. So we're doing okay, you go. That's gonna hit Glyle. Very well. Glyle activates his effect. And we will special summon you. And that'll deal with you. Okay, that'll be the other Glyle. Effect completely wasted, unfortunately. Still get to send it to the grave, though. Yeah. I don't care about the other monsters, it's just those beach... Those atlases. Yeah, it's funny enough, it's the atlases. Mm-hmm. Oi. All right. Imagine and... I had a third atlas in the deck. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, does this have any flip effect? Not really. Um, end of the battle phase. I guess it's safe to flip up spine. And target and destroy. Windows. Here we are again. Atlas is Atlas is Atlas. Is. Yeah, that just keeps coming back. 
oh, can't get rid of it. <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> Usually that kind of stuff, it's like once it's used, um, it's banished after it comes I think back. It's because, I think it's because bee troopers have little to no I know, it's after. completely fair because, the you know, it's insects, the deck's not too crazy. So it, it is like an insanely powerful card, but it is only usable in this scenario. So I can't be too mad at it. Okay, well... Those won't do me any entirely insane justice. Um, <laughs> this this idea of a duel is turning is shaping out to be very different. Yeah, it's just the immovable force meets the unstoppable. Whatever the right saying is. They're both swarming again. It, this is literally like a battle of insects. Like this is a literal war, if you think about it. This is a literal war right here. Like sending troop after troop after troop. Yeah. Okay, so I can get that back out as material, but it's not really gonna be used for anything because I won't have any. I hope, you know, know what? I'm just gonna say this. If you've mm -hmm. made it this far in the video watching it, <laughs> we need proof. We need proof. Um, What should they say in the comments to prove that they got this far in the video? Hurry up! No, no, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Insect right. Wars. Type in... Insect Wars. Just type that... Just put that in the comments to prove that you got this far in the video. Yeah. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Oh, and this kind of proves to people who say, I don't know how to duel. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, it's just a joke because people... Because ever since the uh, night tournament, some people have been there have been certain like naysayers about me knowing how to actually duel on this channel. <laughs> I mean, hey, you certainly didn't prove it this video. Hey. What? I mean, I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying this duel hasn't shown anything special. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. At least I got rid of it for good this time. Yep. All right. But speaking of getting rid of for good, ain't nothing protecting my boys now. Uh, that being said, I'm still gonna need to bounce back after all this, but let's play. Um, I think. Do I flip one up right now? Nah, cause then I can't flip it back down. So yeah, let's go to battle. Let's trade city, baby. This is gonna hurt. Attack. Get it out of here. 900 life points left. Ow! Imagine, Zylo. Imagine this. I was able... I had another card in my hand. I stopped mm -hmm. that attack with a... <laughs> with a Parasite Paranoid. Would be brutal. And you just uh, had that left on the field. Yeah. Let's see. Let's just send this back into the deck. Because I don't even know what I want to draw no more. He goes back down. All right, enter. I mean, if you stop the attack, it would just mean he gets attacked by the same thing after, and I yeah, but use my card to flip him down. Oh, you would have flipped him back down, right? Yeah, I'm like there's a reason this duel has gone on so long, because your strengths are not good against my strengths, and my offense <laughs> is bad. You're not gonna be happy about this, Ilo. Oh, you can. That's beautiful. I can, um, yeah. I have no negator spell destruction on the field. Yep, that's, uh, that's, that's big yikes. Okay, things are a little spot. Oh, the life points too. Yeah. Oh, what a duel. This does mean this is the last time I can activate that though. Yeah. Okay. I still don't hate my odds. So now I gotta do a, a lot of things. Select the card to banish. Yes, I will banish. You. You and you. That's scary. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Then, let's see. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna use these two. Okay. To go into this one. Sure. 
Did not mean to activate that. Can I go back? Darn it. That goes my insect paranoid. The thing that could stop you. Yeah. Um. Because I main because I mainly just wanted to activate the recycling the cards effect. Oh yeah yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so bad for you. It is. It honestly is. Oh. I mainly wanted to bring it out to do this. Yeah. Yeah, that, the extra draw off. Yep. Because that's the one weakness of uh, Atlas. If he's if his attack is increased, he doesn't. He's not immune. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. So my field spell is basically worthless now, right? Sure. I'll replace it with the giant ball uh, part. Yeah. Okay. Now I can negate damage now. <laughs> oh boy. Fun stuff is uh, I can't actually do the same play I did before to take care of Atlas now because he's at 35, but I can mm -hmm. potentially target and destroy him. Okay, special yeah. summer from deck. Yeah, nothing I'm gonna do to stop that because if I stop it, I die. Oh gosh. <laughs> This is literally sending, like, soldiers versus soldiers against each other constantly. Yeah. Both recycling really well. Mm-hmm. They're swarms. That's what they do. Yep. Okay, let me see. Funny thing, everyone. This is, um, you know, after a long day of work, this is the last thing we're doing today. And after recording the last video, I begrudgingly <laughs> agreed to... Record another, and here we are. <laughs> yeah. Getting a little light. But it's all good. Cicada King actually is going to be rather annoying. Yep. Okay. Great, great, great. And... Yeah. Cool. Do I do this now? I guess there's no harm in doing it now. Um, activate. And I guess because I'm Sakai King, it's just going to stop two things. Oh, well. Um, I will flip up. Let's go with Spine. Force an activation out of Cicada King. Could have targeted Atlas, but it feels a little dirty after you made a mistake. Let me at least get Cicada King to uh, negate him first. Yep. Should have really waited for my turn, but it's tempting to use the material when you have it. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, what is the play? Pot of Prosperity? Sure. What have you been doing all game? Uh, so he's chilling right there. Yeah, one more negate. Um, I mean, honestly, either of these are gonna be a good negate. So we're gonna use this. Send a monster from deck to hand. You can stop it if you want to. Or deck to graveyard, but... Similar. Yep. Alright. Dendrite goes off. And, uh, he gets to bring back to you of Molly Monsters. And. Glyle is obviously one of them. And Spine's negated here, but we can try Spine again this turn. Great. Confirmed. Okay. Can I flip them up this turn? We'll find out soon. Waiting on Mario. Yep. Okay. Uh. Let's see. So that guy's just kind of chilling right there. I could flip him down to flip him back up. Let's use Prosperity, I guess. Just imagine though, Zylo. Mm -hmm. Imagine this was like an actual, like in the show, where we could act, where we where they would do this, or Duel Arenas and all that. Like how nasty, how like, how like nasty of a bug phobia people would be having if someone had like a really bad bug phobia and they just saw all these insects constantly swarming yeah, around. It'd be a bit brutal. Or the card, sure. That's fine. And then what is the way to take you on here? Okay, so I can't just flip it willy nilly. I can't just trade like that. Alright, so I can go into um one of my guys again, but it's not really the answer. Uh, can I do a shit all play? Do I just go desperate? Or do I just be patient? Uh, 
is. Do I want to win the duel or do I want to end the duel? That's the question. Because <laughs> I think if I just stall out against you, I win. I just keep recycling my cards and I win. But I want to win with some offense if I can, right? So. Oh no, I could also keep recycling. Thanks to the effect, if I can uh, bring back another. I think I do it better in though. In sector, I can rig cycle back up to 15 again. Uh, well, let's see. Either way, I'm going for the quicker or the uh, more offensive option. Let's do that. That'll send a Glyle back into the deck because there's two already in play. And no, I can't. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Darn it. Okay, well, the less exciting way it is then. Because, yeah, I can't even flip anything else if I wanted to. On, buddy. Head on down there. And... Yep. And my turn. Yeah, because I had to click the other option. Okay. Fair enough. So nothing crazy happening this turn. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Yeah. So, I can't flip your... The sad thing is, I can't just... Fl even if I find a way to, let's say, negate an effect... Yeah. Flip, and I can't target your your face downs and put it into attack mode and win by that way. Mm -hmm. Imagine I had a random stop defense card. Just yeah, no, that, that, that would work, but there's a reason the one runs it, because it's very hyper-specific. Yep. So you got something or not. Stop. Let's stop stalling. Just gonna put this card down. Alright. There's nothing I can really target that isn't gonna make me lose my monster, so. Yeah. Uh, okay, I was saying. I was thinking, what what can you stop right now? I was like, oh. No, I mean, every turn it's gonna let me activate it. Uh, I don't know what the next phase is. End phase. Can I now activate? Yeah. So let's go for it. Same thing as last time. Spine flip up. Activate the last use of that. Fair enough. Flip to attack position. Don't matter too much. <laughs> and there comes that right back for another. Alright. So let's see what we can do here. Flip a back on. Stop that. Yeah, sure. Stop each other. Mm -hmm. um, that well, it's because I think if it activates, it's the fact I can bring it back at the end phase, so... Oh, okay. Nice. Um, then, now that that's done, we go spine. Activate spine. Get rid of this guy. Ah. Lovely. Let's see. Special summon again. Yeah. Lyle. Activate that. Special summon Crowler. Because we. I don't fear. As you can see, this is going to be my last turn. <laughs> for better or worse. You can't finish me off here, Zylo. Yep. Alright, add to my hand. Um, we'll... Yeah, I guess the, the one that I really want is already all fill, fill in the graveyard. And I keep doing the graveyard to bring back the, instead of the recovery things, I'm like, keep trying to do the things that'll just win me the game, win me the game. Ah, but too much keeps coming. Um, yep, so let's just, uh, yeah, definitely don't need receptors. Not at this point in the duel. I guess we're going to grab, um, another, yeah, another spine. Okay, lovely. Now let's start moving into some things. Let's get the uh, Quali Arc out here. Boom. Ah, I could have juiced that up a little more, but it's fine. And Glyle. Quali Arc gets to come and play. Then we can activate this. And summon Spine. Um, I could put him face up and maybe get more stuff coming out here. Sure. We'll do that. Um, let's see, so... It's, it's either going to work or it's going to fail miserably, so let's just play a bunch of things. Let's try the Construct, see if I have any more uses of it. I don't know if I do or not. Okay. And, yeah, it doesn't look like I can do anything else with it. But, it's here. And, 
Any other crazy things I can do? Uh, I guess I'd rather just save it for afterwards, because obviously this field does technically win. So I'd rather save my crazy options for crazy times. Attack the Cicada King. No material left. 25 versus 26. I believe, uh, yep. All right. And now, can Crawler finish the game? It's over. It's done. I know some obvious things I can change about this deck now. I need spell destruction. If I had spell destruction in I this agree. deck, yeah, I would have. If you don't have one. it, pack that Feather Duster. It's one card and it's overpowered. So. Mm -hmm. I can change that. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think B Troopers are better in that regard in terms of like this 1v1 conflict, but I was missing key cards to win this. Such it's as hard to say. Yeah, because I feel like if I do the Shadal plays um, better earlier in the duel, then it's a good thing. So, because that stops a lot of plays as well. But the Shadals suffer from the same thing the Crawlers do in the fact that they target and destroy, yep. or just destroy in general, so the Atlases resist them very well. Yeah, Atlas so is a good card against this deck. And, well, just the sheer number of flip effects is good against any slower deck. Mm-hmm. Oh, but that is fair. <laughs> good stuff all around i guess there's some uh there's some merit to the argument i think they're both good bug decks who who could have guessed we live in a world where there's two good bug decks not me but yeah here we are right here and actually after seeing how the deck works together i don't have any complaints Wait. about it i do have a have parpy's feather this in here i just never drew it <laughs> yikes are you 11 cards left feels bad man i, I guess it's not... <laughs> yeah. if i would have drawn it at any point i guess yeah, then I would have just... I mean, it's only one spell card I was using against you for them. Well, I guess two. But, you know, I could have easily searched them back. So it's hard to say. But it would have. Yeah. Um, but hopefully you guys have all enjoyed. If you have, leave a like on this video and subscribe so you don't miss anything else. Hopefully you enjoyed the entire over an hour long video. And we'll see you next time. See you, folks.